You are watching Manharo Mania, and I get a lot of people asking me this question. Hey, Spat, how do I install KWIN? So, what I thought I would do today is not only show you how to install KWIN, we're also going to put some really killer window borders on it, and I'm also going to show you how to be able to control it using some launchers that we can add to the panel. All of that begins right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, let's begin. I'm running a fresh install of Manharo 087, and everything has been updated, nothing has been removed, nothing added, bare bones, ready to rumble. Okay, and of course we're greeted with our welcome to Manharo screen. We really don't need this, so I'm going to go ahead and close that. Alright, so, to install KWIN and to install uh, some really cool borders, if you don't want the borders, you could just open up the package manager. So I'll just type PAMIC. And then the you have the Add Remove Software dialog, which, of course, will allow you to install the KDE Base slash WorkBase. That's the only item that you need to uh, add. All you need is the KDE Base bash dash WorkSpace. But we're not going to install it this way, because I want to show you how to put some really cool borders on this thing. So... We're going to install Decorator from the AUR, and it's going to pull this package from the repositories. We're going to just do all of this in one step. So let me show you how, how we do that. It's very simple. All right, got a terminal open, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to issue a command for the window borders. Okay, and that is Yawert Decorator. D-E-K-O-R-A-T-O-R. -O -O and then press Enter. All right, and then the item that we want to install is number 1. So we're going to press 1 and then Enter. It is downloading the package build. And now it asks us, do we want to edit it? Nah, I'm not going to edit it. I know this works. Okay, and it's telling you what it's going to get. It's going to grab make. Well, actually, I already have make installed. Uh, it's going to install the KDE base slash workspace that I showed you. Uh, it is going to install CMake and then uh, Automuck 4. Do we want to continue building it? Of course you do. Okay, and of course I'll go with the G Streamer base because I don't have VLC installed on my main system, but you could choose whichever one you want to. I've always, uh, okay, and as you can see, it's going to pull in a lot of stuff. Proceed with the installation, absolutely. While this is installing, let's go ahead and make our controller that I talked about earlier. So I'm going to right click on the panel and select panel. Add new or panel preferences instead of adding new items because I want to be able to do some things with this. Okay, and under item, we're going to select plus, and then we're going to select, I believe it's a launcher. They had it all the way up on top. Imagine that. Okay, so we're going to add this, and then close. And then why don't we position our launcher somewhere where we're going to be able to easily access this. So I'm going to just put this right next to the whisker menu, but you can put it wherever you want. And then under launcher, I am going to select the preferences here, and I'm going to add a new item. Okay, and I'm going to close this because actually I want to add a custom icon. So let's go ahead and preferences here. All right, I'm going to add a new empty item. That's what we wanted to add. Okay, and then we're going to call this one uh, KWIN on, or just KWIN. Okay, and the command that is going to be issued is KWIN hyphen hyphen replace. And then under icon, you can choose an icon if you wish. And really, I don't see any icons that I like. So we really don't have to have one. We're just going to create that. 
All right now, we're going to create another one. And this is going to be uh, XFWM4. Okay, and then that command is XFWM4 hyphen hyphen replace. Okay, and then we're going to create that as well. Now, we can close this, and you will see that now you've got an arrow here that will let you... Let's go ahead and go into preferences on this, and properties. Okay. Maybe I need to go into advanced settings on here. I'm going to put this inside button so that it will show. All right, and that's how we want this to appear. So now you have KWIN and then XFWM4. Now this hasn't finished installing, so, but now we have a switcher right here that we can use. Now that it is finished installing everything, now it is compiling the decorator component that we're going to be using in a little while. Now something I would like to mention, to get the most out of KWIN, you're going to need to make sure that you have a good graphics driver installed. Now sometimes using the free or default graphic driver just may not be enough to display all of the effects that are possible in KWIN, so you may want to use a non-free graphics driver. Information is on the wiki explaining how to install the proper graphic driver that you may need. Now in this case, I am running VirtualBox. So I know I'm not going to be able to display all of the effects. So what you are seeing on the screen is just the free graphics drivers and that sort of thing. Now that this is finished compiling, we will just press enter for yes to continue installing a decorator. Passwords required. That seemed to take a lot of time for a tiny little file to compile, but sometimes that sort of thing happens. Okay, now this is finished. Now we can go ahead and click on this icon that we created with our little menu and select KWIN. You'll notice a little bit of a flicker there. There we go. All right, let's just open up like a, a file manager, for instance. Okay, you'll notice we have different looking borders now than we had previously. Okay, to access the settings to configure KWIN, you're going to need to right click on your panel under More Actions, select Window Manager Settings. And then from here, all of the different things that you can do in KWIN will be enabled. All right, let's have some fun with those window decorations that we downloaded, hey? You can just go into window decorations here, okay? And we have the decorator that we uh, installed. And so I'm going to select this one and then press to configure decoration. Now, you will see we don't have any themes installed on this right now, so we need to get some. So we're just going to press get new theme. Okay, and I'm going to search for Area 51, because a lot of people seem to um, like that. So let's go ahead and install that one, and that's the one that I'm currently using. Okay, we will close this. All right, and then here is the Area 51 theme. Maybe it was a different theme that I used. But at any, any rate, all the themes that I have uh, on my system are here. So we will uh, go ahead and uh, select that one. In title, you can arrange where you want the title to appear on the left, the right, the top, the colors. You can colorize the frames, colorize the buttons, so why not? We'll colorize in active frames and active buttons. Um, you can use different methods, the liquid method, the KDE method, hue adjustment method. We'll just select liquid method, method for now. Uh, there are effects and other little things. So I'm going to select OK on this and then apply. All right, and now you will see 
that we have a new little window border here. I don't really care for the colors on this, so you're going to have to tweak this a little bit. Let's see, what can we do here to change this? Uh, under colors, let's um, choose maybe the KDE method. Let's try the KDE method as well for colorizing this. Press OK. Maybe go out and then back into the theme again. <laughs> that kind of looks... I don't know. So we can configure it again, maybe try a different method for coloring, or maybe we'll just shut it off. Okay, I think that looks kind of cool. And it actually matches the Manharo theme. So, very nice. But maybe we want to add some effects. So I'm going to right-click on the panel, More Actions, Window Manager Settings. Okay, and then we can go into Desktop Effects here. Here are all of the effects that are available. And i got to tell you, there is the mother load of them. There's no way I'm going to be able to cover all of these. So, experimentation is key. That is something I always say. Uh, let's go ahead and make those windows wobble. Okay, and because of my uh, setup here, it's not probably not going to allow me to do that. But we can go ahead and I can minimize uh, this and maybe do a demonstration on my actual desktop. But that's the particulars of installing it. And of course, uh, you can switch to XFWM4 or you can switch to KWIN. So we know that it is working. It's just that my graphics driver in this virtual machine really isn't sufficient enough to do some of the special effects. And I kind of figured it would do that. Okay, on my desktop, you can see I have the effects and everything enabled because I have a proper graphics driver installed. But more options are available to you. Well, all the options are available whether you have uh, the capability of displaying it or not. But um, in the effects here, there are lots of effects that you can have enabled or disabled on here. And this is my particular configuration under accessibility. I only enabled the magnifier just for being able to go in and, you know, maybe demonstrate things that I may have on the screen for tutorials and that sort of thing. Otherwise, I never really even use this. I only have a fade uh, enabled on mine. The glide effect is enabled. I have the magic lamp enabled. And of course, there are settings when this is highlighted and you can choose other options. I'm just using it as default. Okay, I have a minimize animation, a scale in, a screen edge and uh, effect. Sliding pop-ups, translucency, wobbly windows. Okay, uh, focus, the dialog parents, slide back, and then there are other little tools. So I, you can see I don't really have a whole lot of these operating. I have the cover switch effect, the desktop cube, desktop cube animation, desktop grid, present windows. Okay, and whenever you see these uh, wrenches lit up here, you know, you can add extra features uh, to them and uh, tweak them to your liking. Okay, and then... Um, Compositing type here, I have this set at OpenGL, so 3.1. So if your card supports that, you'll be able to have that feature available to you. Otherwise, you may have to use OpenGL 2, OpenGL 1.2, or just XRender. Okay, and that may help you with getting some of those effects working. Of course, there are task switcher options. Screen edge options. This, will, this is what will happen when you move. Uh, to the, for instance, on the lower le left corner of the screen, I have this set up to show the desktop grid. On the lower right of the screen, I have this actually invoke my desktop cube. And you can do other things here. Just select a corner, and then a drop-down will appear, giving you options with what you want to do with it. Experimentation is key. Play with the settings. Okay? All right. 
And then, of course, we had already talked about our window decorations. I'm using decorator here. And uh, let me see, what was that theme called? I thought it was Area 51. Ah, it is called Titan 5. So for those of you who want my uh, window borders that I'm using now, it is the Titan 5 theme. Okay. And if you don't want to use the decorator themes, that's okay. They have plenty of plenty more window decorations besides this. I just like this engine because there are tons of themes that you can get for decorator alone. But you can also get new decorations here, and it'll you know let you just download them and install them. They have a screenshot showing you uh, what they look like sometimes. Maybe it doesn't let us zoom into the screenshot like I thought it would, but oh well. So they show you a screenshot and that sort of thing. You can install them and try them out. Uh, there uh, are some actions here that you can configure. You can uh, configure your focus actions, window moving actions, advanced actions, and then KWIN scripts. It looks like they also have some window rules here. Lots of things to configure. There's no way I could spend... Uh, a whole lot of, the amount of time that would require would probably take uh, uh I, I my I think my comp his video I think I had like an hour long video on it and I I don't think I could actually do that again. But there are a lot of options in here, so play with them and see what kind of really cool effects you can come up with. Mm -hmm.